what's up guys um, I'm gonna jump right into it okay so a lot of times I see a lot of ignorant statements being made towards melanated people in particular um, and uh, I just think that it's time that I said something about it and fall back against the shit because um, I see way too much ignorance way too much ignorance especially in the indigenous American communities and stuff like that um, like you'll see just very ignorant fucking statements like you're too dark to be indigenous or um, you're not indigenous you're African you should just love your culture and stop trying to steal and jump onto other people's cultures and things like that very ignorant fucking statements all right so I'm about to tackle as many of those misconceptions as possible in this video if you like this video and found this video to be very educational entertaining etc give me a like um, a comment share follow etc um, so let's get right into it so off the bat first off um, I don't know if you all are like slow or um, have selective memory or I don't know just fucking self-hating as fuck but the further that you go back in history the darker the indigenous people get so for you to sit here and say shit like you're too dark to be indigenous oh okay you're whitewashed that's that's pretty much all that you're stating right there you know um because yeah the further that you go back the darker these indigenous people get the more modern you know the more mixed that we are the lighter that we get over time and shit you know and yeah there were indigenous tribes that were light-skinned like way back further back in history yeah there were but they i mean it was pretty much around my skin complexion anyway like i'm light-skinned you know i'm a light tan complexion and i even have the red undertone but they wasn't really really fucking light to the point where they was like um white passing and shit like that you know like i don't know why so many natives today think that you know being white passing is like more native like no like it's, it's quite the opposite you know like there's little to any pictures of these uh, of our ancestors having very pale skin unless it was like a whitewash color washed as picture and shit but from actual history from me being someone that studied anthropology scientific racism uh pre-columbian history and specializing in american history and our ancestors because you know i am indigenous american i can tell you straight up that it just it definitely wasn't common for them to have very pale skin okay it was more common for them to be dark skin darker than what i am today so um, another thing is like this misconception that there is black people that's just self-hating and just grabbing onto someone else's culture. Okay, first off, what fucking culture? And what, uh, to be specific, please be specific. What culture are they stealing? I bet you it'll get quiet as fuck because that's like such a fucking ignorant statement because there's over 1,000 different nations that make up Native Americans. Like, hey, you sit here talking about some, they try to steal your culture. What culture? Please inform us. What culture is being stolen from you? Oh, wait. Because it's just bullshit. You know, like, there's a lot of colorism that goes on in the Native and Indigenous communities. You know, like, the darker that you are, the more skeptical they are of you actually being Indigenous. That That's let's face it that's really how it is you know like growing up i will always constantly have to fucking you know like battle challenge or you know defend my identity to other natives and shit because they would say fucking ignorant statements and shit and you know partially it's the older generations to blame as well because you have those people that are fucking self-haters that you know, they tried to make it seem like dark skin was never a part of their fucking family and shit. And then you have those uh, teachers and, you know, the school systems and shit that show you only one type of indigenous person, you know, like the, the variations and shit. Like, there's so much diversity among indigenous people 
but they only really show one type up in Hollywood. And a lot of times in Hollywood, those actors be fucking white, bro. They be putting on red face a lot of the fucking times. And then people subconsciously pick up these things, you know, these standards of what it means to be indigenous and what it looks like to be indigenous. And then they go into the real world and they spew out all this fucking hatred and ignorance towards their own people. You know, like... You can really, you can really see the white man working through our people. You know, I right, they they say shit like, "Well, what's your blood quantum percentage?" The fuck, who 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 does that, bro? Animals, animals. They check fucking the percentage of uh the blood quantum up in animals, bro. Like to see. Everything that is mixed with the genetic makeup, etc. Like, what the fuck? Like, how does that sound? That's the most whitewashed shit that I have ever heard from a native. Asking me, what's my blood percentage? Bro, like, I almost, almost. <laughs> but my thing is like, and it, it goes beyond this too. Like, um, it, it, it's just, you know, straight up bullshit. You know, like, because there is like, there is so much history and records of melanated people um being i shouldn't say melanated people there's just so much history of negroid people being um indigenous americans like there's you know it's, it's there you know like it's to the point where you can take a black person and you could take like a indigenous person and they damn near look like they from the same fucking families a lot of times like you know, like, it, it'd be a lot of head ass up in these communities and shit, bro. And here's the thing, like, a lot of uh, Native people don't want to admit, but we're all mixed now. We're not all purebred. Like, that That literally went out the window fucking centuries before we was born, bro. Like, get that out of your head. Like, I don't care what you all try to argue. It's impossible for us to be purebred because that's not how even humans came about, you know? I like, we started all fucking mixing. We started off mixed, bro. Like, come on. None of that really actually matters. Like, to me, it matters more, like, for you to actually have a native or a indigenous ancestry, it matters a smaller degree than how you just go about it. Like, your mindset, the spirit that you embody. You know, like, if you're... You could be full-blooded, you know, like, even though, like I said, that's not possible, but you could be full-blooded, but have all types of, like, toxic-ass belief systems, like, yeah, we need to modernize the reservations, you know, we need to bring in, like, uh, the oil fields, and, you know, like, you could have a horrible-ass fucking perspective on a topic and shit, and that would make me see you as not being indigenous more than your actual you know, mixture and shit, and how you look and shit, you know? Because, like, as someone that studied anthropology and knows about genetics and how random they are, I know for a fact that you can look like one thing and be another thing, you know? Like, just because you look a certain way, that does not limit who you are as an individual, everything that you're mixed with. So, I really hope that a lot of people stop being, like, fucking assholes and colorists and just prejudice towards darker tone indigenous Americans because we do exist and we have always existed. In fact, we existed longer before the lighter ones existed. You know, like, who the fuck are you to try to sit here and try to question someone else's identity? You know, like, we can do the same thing. Like, you damn near white at this point. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. But, like, for real though, like, we can go back and forth about this shit. You know, like, I'm not I'm not ashamed because I'm also mixed with some African. I'm not ashamed because I'm also mixed with some white, you know? Like that's just the reality of where we are in this place of time and shit. But that doesn't take away the fact that we are still indigenous. I'm still Pueblo, you know? Like I still, you know, I, I'm more indigenous than I am anything else, you know? I uh, my whole culture, you know, it's just it honestly it's like Honestly, I feel like I have more of a culture. I, I, honestly, I feel like I have more of a uh, a connection to the culture 
to the older culture than a lot of natives today, you know? Like, I'd be straight up honest about this shit, you know? A lot of natives have abandoned spirituality and our, our spiritual beliefs and shit. And me, on the other hand, I didn't even take on these spiritual beliefs because they were of my ancestors and what my ancestors believed. I just naturally gravitated towards this shit, bro. And so that that's what lets me know, like, I'm right on the path that my ancestors set for me, you know? I'm doing the things that, you know, uh, makes them proud and makes me proud at the same time, you know? I'm in line with my true self, my authentic self, you know? And a lot of y'all just can't say that shit. And you're mad and you're angry and so you, you're bitter and you take that shit out on other people. But guess what, yo? We still indigenous Americans. We still natives we still part of the people you know none of that is going to change and you have no control over that so please get it out your head that we trying to be something that we're not we're not we really don't give a fuck about you in fact you really don't have anything to do with what's going on with us finding ourselves and shit we have every right to be who we want to be you know so peace